Oh, it says a uh, self a theist, self-identified young earth creationist wants to know if abiogenesis has ever been replicated in a lab or if it's based on faith. We got a lot to work with there. Uh, Mr. Science, do you have a name that I can call you that's shorter than that? You don't have to give your real name, but that's a lot. <laughs> How are you also? Uh, you can just call me, you can just call me uh, Mr. Fauci. Mr. What? Talent. Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci. So I, I, I'm going to be real with yeah. you. Like it's, who knows what your intentions are, but jumping in with that, it, it doesn't give me like confidence that this isn't a troll. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I just, especially was, calling in to say, has a biogenesis been replicated in a lab or is it just faith? That to me is, is a, is a big leap. So do you, do you want to say you're trolling now or do you want to try to continue? Like what's going on? No, let's continue. I, I'd prefer to use the pseudonym, please. Mr. Science is good. Sure. Okay. We'll rock with that for the time being. So, uh, your question, has a biogenesis been replicated in a lab or is it based on faith? You do understand, of course, that those are not, that's not a dichotomy. It's not one or the other between those two, right? Well, I'm not speaking about, has, has a biogenesis has it ever been obser observed? It doesn't need to be in a lab. Uh, no, from start to finish, we have never watched a biogenesis happen in a lab. That does not mean it's based on faith. And you do understand the difference, yeah? Or do you not? Well, we should dive into that. No, I don't, I don't agree. Because are you, are you using induction? So, so let's then dig into it now. Do you think that you have to see a process from start to finish completely? Otherwise, it is a face-based position. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I don't. No, but I think if you're relying on induction, then it is a face-based position. If you don't believe in God. So you're talking about inductive reasoning? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, what basis do you have for so, inductive reasoning? Because that hasn't been proven. It, it, inductive reasoning hasn't been proven. So inductive reasoning is just taking a look at the evidence that's there and trying to build a model based on that evidence. What does all this evidence point to? It's different than deduction, which needs a set of predetermined like ideas that you are then like ruling out, deducing from to find the one thing that's left that doesn't really work when you're starting from scratch and don't have any predetermined possibilities to work off of. That's why science largely is based on inductive reasoning because it allows us to come up with new ideas based on new evidence that best fits reality. Now, the follow-up to that is that those things then need to be tested and they need to be like shown to be actual, like they, they have like testable, predictive, like all these things, falsifiable. Like there's a lot of qualifications that come in to make sure that we're not just making up something ridiculous. Um, that's what we're talking about here with this. Of course, we've never watched life come from non-life, de novo, brand new living thing. That's never happened, no. However, we have observed a lot of the pieces of it happening. And we've shown, we've done tests to show that a lot of these structures, a lot of these functions that, that we talk about in abiogenesis, are actually reasonable and actually do work. And where we don't know things, we're willing to say, we don't know, but we're not willing to fill in the gaps with magic. So that's the big difference between that and faith. Okay, but are you willing to acknowledge that your position relies on logical induction? That, that my position relies on injustice? My, my position relies on logic. We're able to use, we have this whole model, and we're able to demonstrate most of it, not all in sequence, doesn't need to be in sequence. Um, if you were to break down abiogenesis from like just random elements all the way up to a living cell into like 10 theoretical steps, we would have like, you know, steps two, three, four, seven, eight, and maybe 10. Like that sense. And so like we have most of this shit figured out. There's just some gaps in our understanding. Uh, that we are filling in every day. And that is the same with literally all science. Also like to make that point to show you that this is not just about abiogenesis. That's the way we know anything about anything. Well, it seems like you're dodging the question about how you know you have induction. Can you just answer that? How do I know I have induction? Is that what you're asking me? Yes. Like, how do you know the universe is consistent? And how do you know that what you see is going to be 
I can't have you in this. Have you used that the reason? Like, have you heard of David Yield? I, I, I just explained why we use inductive reasoning. Yeah, but you, you didn't explain the basis of it. You explained why it's practical. You didn't say what your basis is. Now you actually know that that's true. I, I, I don't you, think you understand what you're talking um, about. Is, so let <laughs> me just make sure we're on the same foot here. True. It's just a no, process. I, here's sorry, what I think ahead, he's Aaron. trying to go at. So let me see if I can fix. Uh, Mr. Science, are you basically talking about the problem of induction as given by David Hume? Exactly. Okay. So what if I told you actually a big chunk of what science is is deductive in that by hypothesis testing, we use Bayesian updating, which is a completely deductive mathematical theorem. Does, does uh, a biogenesis fall in that category? Large All science thing, yeah. uses Bayesian thinking. Fundamentally, that's what the scientific method is. You have a hypothesis, you go and test it. If the evidence is in favor of the hypothesis versus the contrary, it becomes evidence for the theory and increases probability. That is fundamentally Bayes' theorem. And everyone okay, at least so... intuitively is applying that mathematical um, formalism to what is scientific thinking. And it is, and, and Bayes' theorem is deductive mathematics, not inductive. Okay, so you're saying you could you could come to the, the the conclusion that evolution is true without using inductive reasoning. We were talking about abiogenesis, not evolution, weren't we? Same thing. Not at all. Not at close. It's they're both fairy tales. Okay, so in the way that you don't understand either one of them, I guess yeah, they're the same. But like their actual like the reality of them, even if you don't believe they're real what they are saying and what they are claiming are completely different. So you guys think you're related to bananas. Okay, so you don't actually know what you're talking about. This this is just a time wasting troll call. You 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 don't know no, what evolution you think is. You, think you're related you don't to know bananas. what abiogenesis is. You don't know what abiogenesis is. You, you don't know what, what induction or deductive is. You're just calling to just say that you don't like these ideas. Yeah, I'll call you, I'll call you up. You're, you know, you're not calling me out, you're just science. saying actually words. talk some interesting <laughs> science. Um, uh, sure. Forrest, did you see that um, it was a couple months ago, I think it was in science, that there was a new estimate mm. for LUCA, pushing it to about 4.2 4 billion years ago. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, so that basically would say, once the Earth formed, it was cool enough to actually have any water on the surface. Life was like, yep, I'm going to hang out here, uh, which yeah, is that's, pretty that's amazing a... that... Uh, that's a little sooner and, than I thought it was. And yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be immediately at the end of the Hadean bombardment. So like, yeah, like it, it, as quickly as, but I thought it took a like, oh, he hung up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, the, I, <laughs> I thought was it was a little bring this up that, as well yeah. because, because the way they determine Luca is based actually on DNA and mathematical yeah. modeling and creating phylogenetic trees that way and basically going, well, how far back do we need to go until this tree comes back to a, somewhat singular point. And it's like, hey, that's completely deductive, um, or at least yep. uh, it is using deductive probabilistic uh, work. And I have not been able to check the results myself, and I don't know enough DNA analysis to even say what they could have even possibly done wrong. I could barely spell right. DNA. <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> that's the current conclusion from that, uh, that work. And it's damn awesome if it holds up. That's fucking neat. That's fucking neat. Yeah, uh, the dude like d just had not. It's what's frustrating about calls like that um, is that like very clearly this guy has just heard some things from his preacher, and now wants to say those words to me as well. And like, it would be cool, Mister Science, if you'd like to call back in and actually talk science sometime. Um, we're happy. I, I would be happy if you want to call back in, especially when I'm on Skep Talk tomorrow and actually talk about what evolution and abiogenesis actually are, we can get there. Um, but you're going to have to actually engage with thinking. And that might be a new thing for you. Hey, do you think this clip just fell out of a coconut tree? No. It did. I Okay, now technically I did build the channel into a coconut tree and it did fall out. 
and also that our internet router is up there. Actually, in a lot of ways, this actually this production fell out of a coconut tree. But we could only afford that because people like you supported us for five dollars a month. Over where is that, Eric? Uh, Patreon.com slash call the line and that's right. Jimmy will you got it. Yeah, time. be grateful. Yeah, we have an exclusive patron podcast over there. Check it out. Thumbs up with it, Eric. We talked about this in the meeting. We have to both. Oh, yeah. Up. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. There we go.